All right, Aaron, thank you. 654, if you ask anybody what makes Nashville such a great city, you're going to get plenty of answers, but almost all of them will be centered around the people here. Characters in every part of town on every corner. One of those spots is in East Nashville Barista Parlor. It's a barista bar that serves up more than just coffee. There's a feel, kind of a hipster vibe, that's something that you notice as soon as you walk in the door, and it is contagious. Barista Parlor is expanding in the Gulch with a similar coffee experience that some say is something you will only get in Nashville. If you've never had a good cup of coffee prepared by an expert barista, put it on your list of things to do. Barista Parlor in East Nashville and Golden Sound in the Gulch are perfecting the poor one latte at a time. It's the people, the coffee, the food, all the things that they're getting right. And if you're wondering whether you can really taste the difference, the answer is yes. This is what they call blooming the coffee. So we don't want to do anything too crazy, just make sure all the grounds are saturated. You're blooming the blooming. coffee. Watch, it'll kind of rise. And it these is. are, yeah, it's these are very, very fresh coffees um, within a week of roast, and it's going to give off gas. Wow. And like this is just priming the solids, the desirable solids in here it's, for extraction. It's bubbling like lava. Yeah, so many more things other than just the methodology that makes it superior. It's really like the raw ingredients that we're using. Most people have heard about Arabica, for right. example. Sure. Um, you know, the two primary. Uh, species of coffee that are served are Robusta and Arabica. But within Arabica, there are different varieties. Just like, think of apples, there are different varieties of apples. Espresso is just another method of brewing coffee, right. not a roast, like many view it as. They brew filter profile coffee. It's probably not what you're used to seeing. So we've got three steps. Yes. Grind, yes. tamp, pull the shot. Pull the, shot. the latte artists true craftsmen and they take their job seriously. Uh, having the right grind is key in having a good tasting espresso. And what you're looking for is a completely even bed. If it's not completely even, um, the extraction that we're talking about, uh -huh. if this side is higher, this side will get over extracted and this side will get under extracted because um, it's not completely level. So what does that mean when you taste it? It'll taste bad. I can tell you firsthand, creating a good looking, good tasting latte is not easy. Like, not just anybody can walk up to a machine. It takes a lot of practice. It takes a lot of practice, it takes a lot of work. Mm -hmm. I don't think people appreciate the art that mm -hmm. goes into this and the yeah. science that goes into it. Golden Sound, the golden child of Barista Parlor, is bringing the heat in the kitchen too, with a breakfast menu that rivals any other. And I can say that because my photographer and I ordered breakfast, it was amazing. It's not something just straight out of a jar, it's something that we've you know really toiled over and had a good time making. And you can really, I think it's a reflection of that in every, every biscuit, every plate of food that comes out. Regional farmers and their own canned goods put a spin on Southern classics here. The kind of place where you actually sit beside people and get to know your neighbor. The kind of place where you can drink the coffee black, even if you're like me and you've never done that before. The kind of place with the kind of people who make Nashville one of the best coffee cities in the country. And in fact, Travel and Leisure just ranked Nashville the 13th best coffee city in the country. Now, if we could only get them to deliver, we'll have to see if we can work on that. 658 right now. We do